Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go over a quick example of using like a local spreadsheet. Thunkable has like local sheets that are Thunkable based and they, they live on the device. And, and we're going to show stuff in a data viewer. Okay, so let me grab a data viewer list. So, you know, all I want to do is show you an app where we build a spreadsheet and show it in the user interface. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to go to data sources, say plus, and you, you know, you have a choice when you create a new one. Sorry, I've got a bunch of them, but when you do create new, you can create your own table. And this is Thunkable's own kind of tables. You can also do, you know, Google Sheets and Airtable, et cetera. Okay, but this one I'm just gonna call, you know, phone numbers. And we're just gonna put some names and phone numbers in. Okay, and column one, um, I'm just gonna rename to name and column two, I'm going to rename to phone. Okay. And so basically, I'm just creating the initial uh, the initial values in the spreadsheet. So Dave, phone number is 111-1111. And then Sally is 222-222. Um, so you can just kind of create whatever columns you want. And then I don't want this column here, so I can get rid of, or sorry, this row. I'm going to get rid of that row and that row. So I've got two rows. Let's see. Um, yeah, so I don't think that one's actually created. That's just if I wanted to add it. So I've got two rows in my spreadsheet and two columns, name and phone. Okay, so cool. So I've got this phone numbers data source. And one nice thing about um, Thunkable is when I go back to the user interface, here's my list view, right? I can just choose my data source phone numbers and then I can say, oh, for my title, oh, I want to show the person's name. And then for the subtitle, I want to show their phone number. Okay. And you'll notice it already shows the data for me, or if I test it, um, of course, this, this stuff's going to come in through. Okay. So anyway, now you've got a spreadsheet that you can go in and edit, right? So you know, you as the site administrator or the app administrator can go in and edit um, phone numbers. Oops, I don't want to delete it, sorry. Um, so I can go in and, you know, change the data at any time and then it will um, show up when the, when the app actually actually runs.